sensor was mounted. And here's where my new one is mounted. So now I should be able to get an accurate reading of my intake air temp sensor. So the car has been running for about 33 minutes now and the intake air temp sensor is reading 98. That's where it's stabilized. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if my intercooler fans and intercooler water sprayers actually do anything. Turning on the fans. Two minutes in. No change. Five minutes in. Still no change. Ten minutes in. Still no change. So do four 12-inch radiator fans on an intercooler help? Well, it doesn't look like it does at idle. So now let's see if the water works.
it's already at 161, but the intake air temp's still at 98. So it looks like the radiator fans on the intercooler actually do help when the water is spraying. Five minute mark. So the intake air temp has dropped to 96. But at the five minute mark with the fans going and the water sprayers, we're at 95. So the fans still do help. So recap, running radiator fans on your intercooler does not help, or at least it doesn't help at idle. Running water sprayers on your intercooler with no airflow across it also kind of helps, but not really. Running water sprayers on your intercooler and having radiator fans at idle does a pretty dramatic uh, drop in intake air temp. So now the question is, is do I need four to do this or can I get by with just two? Because running four of these radiator fans does draw about 28 amps, which can rob you some horsepower because your alternators get their energy from the engine. So that would be a next video to try out. Also, I might try a higher RPM and see how the, the uh, intake air temp reacts with the fans and whatnot. But that's that.